Let's say we're asked to find the equation of the line in standard form with given slope of negative 6 and the line passes through 1 fourth comma negative 2. Like we did in the previous example, we can start by using the point slope form. Remember, if you're trying to find the equation of a line in standard form, you can never start with standard form directly. You have to start with something else. Point slope form is the easiest one to start with, especially if we're given a point and a slope. So plugging in the numbers where they go, y1 we know is negative 2, so that goes there. Slope is negative 6, and x1 is 1 fourth. At this stage, we need to remember that standard form means all the x's and y's are together, the constant is by itself on the other side, there are no fractions, and the coefficient of x is positive. So in order to get to that stage, we have to move some terms around on this given equation, or on the equation that we've come up with. So first, a negative times a negative yields a positive on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, we can distribute the negative 6. So negative 6 times x will give us negative 6x. Negative 6 times negative 1 fourth will make it a positive, and then 6 times 1 fourth I just left here. Now we can simplify or reduce this fraction as 3 over 2. Both these numbers are divisible by 2, which is represented right here. So we get the equation y plus 2 equals negative 6x plus 3 halves. Remember, we don't want any fractions. So at this stage, we can clear the fractions by multiplying each term of the equation by 2. So we get 2 times y plus 2 times 2 minus 6 times 2x plus 3 halves times 2. This 2 and this 2 will cancel. All the others will get multiplied. So this leaves us with 2y plus 2 times 2, which is 4, 2 times negative 6, which is negative 12. These 2's cancel, leaving just the 3. So that's what gives us this equation. So now we have no longer any fractions. We want to get all the x's and y's on one side. So again, since we want the coefficient of x to be positive, because it is negative, I'm better off moving the x to the left-hand side instead of moving the y over with it. And before I do that, let's make space for it by moving the 4 over to the right-hand side. So if we move the 4 over to the right, it becomes a negative 4. 3 minus the 4 gives us a negative 1. Now we can move the negative 12x over to the other side, giving us a positive 12x plus 2y equals negative 1. Let's verify that this is in standard form. x's and y's are on the same side. Constant by itself is on the other side no fractions, and the coefficient of x is positive.